Fort Humboldt, one quarter of a mile. That's not too far. Check out this historic display. So I got the impression they have these military homes up for display then, because this is in the park. You see this is on a little higher hill from the mall. Yeah, there's other buildings, bathrooms probably. It's quite a glare. I wouldn't doubt this house was built in the late 1800s. A lot of them seem pretty good shape with actual like like clear windows. It's hard to believe they had clear, clear windows, but it's possible. This style is similar. Uh, Lafayette. So we got some, they're covering up the windows. That's too bad. This is a hospital? Alright. Yeah, they got all the windows covered. I don't want anybody looking inside. Oh, it's locked. First settlers. This guy. Not including the Indians, which there's supposed to be information about Indians. Okay, growing medicine. I've never, well, okay, a couple of these I do. Wow, all right. The only one I'm really familiar with is, is lemon balm. And they're growing it here, yep. Maybe I should try a leaf. All right, they put an old ladder, an old wooden ladder to the chimney to show that was a historical thing for a while. All right, and then they mark where the buildings used to stand. So there were some soldiers that gave in to the mining, the 1849s. And Ulysses S. Grant was actually here for a brief time as quartermaster. That was uh, before the Mexican War. Or no, after the Mexican War. My mistake. It's interesting they put these signs on the on the seats. And this one you can actually look inside. Get an idea. A little piano. Those are popular and large for a while and yeah. Alright, so they're putting an effort to try to give you an idea how large this was. This is, yeah, this probably had more buildings in this area. Wooden buildings will go down, especially now that rain is picking up further north. All right, so here's where we start with the early Indians overlooking the Bay Shore Mall. All right. <laughs> Boomtown, where are these Trinity mines? Are they not far from here? Bucksport. Alright. There's this weird door doorway out in the middle here. I'm assuming that there was a a, a building here too for officers All right, and this isn't the shape of a tent. I'll back up They're saying they had their tent salt in this area, I guess. The coral. These are all Indians. Kind of 
Yeah, such big jaws. Very powerful people. I gotta say, the Indians around here kind of look like the Mexicans today. There's uh, very close similarities. Fort Humboldt abandoned. You could see some of the buildings went down, just gutted out. So they're definitely missing some buildings. You see over here, they're missing. This picture was taken in 1893. I don't see any railway, but apparently a rail went through here and they have a uh, steam donkey on it at the end over there. Stack three high here, they stacked more cut logs over there. To try to introduce people to the, the lumber days. It's occupied for just over 10 years, that's fairly short. Stone is that stone and you see these trees from 1925 these trees grew they were probably planted as saplings not from seed they use the bathrooms I need a district code and they say you get it at the headquarters okay here it is so today or is this change weekly it's 1650 all right Tough, tough to imagine. Why old family? Looks like an Indian and Englishman. All right. The gold is in the redwoods. Whoa, people are just hanging on on that huge tree. Fly bread, tin pants, misery. Whips, Tale of the Timber Beast. Huh. Timber Beast. Yeah. Timber Beast. They didn't have it so rough in these camps, so I don't believe. Oh, the humans are Timber Beasts? luxury there's really not much to show here just an overview or lumber from that sign you see a lumber's camp which is rare to see you have like four or five steam donkeys and then a trail to go through some of the the logs that were cut women serve breaded and bunter Sagged. Huh. <clears throat> okay. Maggie second from right. Yeah, she is pretty thick. A little too much sugar. The Ingomer Club, private club, is that. I, I'm pretty sure. And it used to be a lumber baron's uh, home. Very big home. Many stories. You get the impression that the trains really ran through here. Like they had a big train station or something. Right, it just takes the right tools to turn the trash into a treasure. Blocks, wow. Wood blocks. Just block them up. Split stuff. Various objects. A 
shingle mill. That's what it says on the sign. Shingles for roofs. So you wanna you don't want to make them too too thin or too thick. So it's just something that runs them through and I don't see where it would chop them off. Maybe maybe there's somewhere that they chop off. You cut them a certain length and then maybe something like pulls them out, bends them out.